Hey Tristan, can you come downstairs for just a brief moment? We have something that we would like to tell you. Uck, what the hell do you guys want from me now? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? First of all, you better watch your mouth. Second, what we wanted to tell you is that your cousins, aunt, uncle, and grandparents are all coming over tomorrow at our house for a family hangout day, and we will do things such as going to the Beyond Cinema to watch our movie, go to the Beyond City Park, and we will even have a family dinner at our house. How does that sound? What? My relatives are coming over tomorrow for a family hangout day? Oh come on. I don't want to see my relatives because they are total pains in the behind, especially Tyree, because he's so annoying. I do not want to hang out with them whatsoever. We were better off with just the four of us until more new members of our family came. And plus, I don't like it when visitors come over as they interfere with my personal time. It doesn't matter Tristan. Spending quality time with your own family is more important than just playing video games in your room all day. You really need to take a break from playing video games and try to hang out with the rest of your family at least once. Your mother is right son. And just to make it clear, if you misbehave around your relatives tomorrow, you will be punished and get in severe trouble. Do I make myself clear on that? <sighs> yes, mom and dad. I promise I won't do any of those bad things around my relatives tomorrow. That a boy Tristan. Anyways, you may now continue what you were doing. And don't forget what I said about what'll happen if you misbehave with your relatives tomorrow. Whatever. Oh my god. I can't believe I have to spend my Saturday with my relatives, especially with my annoying younger cousin Tyree. I'm in the middle of 100% completing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for crying out loud. I can't afford spending the day with my stupid family. I need to find a way to prevent myself from having to hang out from them. But how? Oh yeah. Tristan, you're an absolute genius. I will definitely ruin everyone's day for sure. What is my idea you may ask? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Oh boy. I am so excited to see my aunt, uncle, grandparents and my cousins again, especially Jane. Today is gonna be so much fun. You got that right honey. I'm certain all of them are excited to see us again as well. They should be arriving in a couple of more minutes from now. Great. That means we have just a few more minutes before we finally have time to catch up on what has happened over the past year. Well, well at, at least, least I will be able, able to do my plans, plans in a couple of minutes. minutes. Today, Today will be boring, boring but at, at least, least it will be worth it for what I will, I will be doing, doing today. today. That must be them. I'll get the door. Yes, they're finally here. Hi sis. It's so good to see you. May we all come in? Hello guys. Great to see you all. Come on in. Dave, Tristan, and Taylor. Our family has arrived. What's up guys? How are you all doing? Hi guys. It's great to see you all. Welcome. Tristan. Come join us. There is no way I'm joining you all for a hug. Oh, yes they will be. You better come hug your relatives right now. They haven't seen you in a long time. Do it or you will get punished. Fine. Oh, Shirley honey. Our grandson doesn't seem to be in a good mood. He'll be fine Mama G. He's just a little moody right now. Oh alright then. So, Shirley, 
And Dave, how have things been for you guys in Vion City? Any new or exciting opportunities that have gone your way? As a matter of fact, yes we have. I was able to apply for a new job at the Vion City Bank as a human resources manager, and Dave has also applied for a new job as an IT assistant at the Vion City Hospital, so that's been going well for us. Also, we were able to apply for Taylor and Tristan to attend Vion High School, and that's been going well for them too. That's great to hear. And how have Tristan and Turtle been? Well, for Taylor, everything's been going great for her. She's a straight A student, she's met a lot of new friends at her school and around beyond city, she's a very respectful and good little girl, and we always try to do what's best for her to make sure she's a successful woman in the future. Wow Tay, that's so awesome. I'm so proud of you little cuz. Keep it up. I agree with Jane. That's awesome to hear Taylor. I agree with Jane and LeBron. Keep it up big cousin. Oh shucks, thank you guys. I try my best. And how has Tristan been holding up? Has he been behaving well? Well, unfortunately, he hasn't been behaving quite as well. We shouldn't go into too much detail, but he has been quite troublesome ever since we've moved here. We try to punish him as much as possible when he does get out of line however. Oh my. You've told us a couple of things Tristan did a while back, but we didn't know it was that bad. Don't worry sis. If he's too much for you guys, we can take him over to our house until he starts behaving again, if that's okay with you and Dave. That would be much appreciated. Thank you sis. Oh, just shut up all of you. Being a troublemaker is what I love to do, and I can cause trouble wherever and whenever I want. You all need to get used to it. Get out of this house right now, or I'll- Keep your mouth shut. Don't start. You see, Tristan has really gotten on our nerves lately. We are seriously considering sending him somewhere else soon if his behavior doesn't stop. I don't blame you Aunt Shirley. His behavior is seriously unacceptable. I agree with you honey. Behaving like that will only bring him misfortune and trouble when he grows up. Right. Remember, we're right here to take Tristan with us if you need us too. Thanks bro. But enough with that. One of our first plans was to head to the Vyond Cinema as a family, so are you guys done with going to the Vyond Cinema to watch our movie? Yes we are. That sounds like a great idea. What do you guys think about that? Yes. A movie sounds like an excellent idea. We can all go see the new G.A. Bricks movie that just came out yesterday. Great idea dad. I will go ahead and buy the tickets for all of us right now. While I do that, you guys can go ahead and make yourselves at home. Okay. okay. Oh god. I really, I really don't, really don't want, want to watch, watch the new G.A. Bricks movie. movie. It, it looks really awful, awful and I also despise G.A. Bricks and the Joe 4444 with a burning, burning passion. But, but thankfully, I do have something in mind that will utterly ruin the entire movie for everyone. This, this is, is gonna, gonna be so good. Ha 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 ha. Oh man! I can't wait for the movie to start. I've been looking forward to the G.A. Bricks movie for a while. I love his Dish Girls series. Same here Tay. It's gonna be really good. So glad it's finally out now, since it got delayed twice. Agreed with you both. This is gonna rock. Okay. Now, now it's my chance. chance. Let's, Let's ruin, ruin this movie. movie. Hey Dad, may I please use the restroom before the movie starts? Well, that depends. Do you actually need to go? Yes I do. Are you absolutely positive? For sure. Okay. Go ahead then. But if I catch you lying to me, you will be in big trouble. Got it. Yes sir. And remember, try to come back before the movie starts so you don't miss anything. Okay. Now that I got out of there, I will use Vion Logic to teleport to where the screen projector room is at. Hopefully no one is in there. Ha, alright, Vion Logic, activate.
Bingo. Now no one will be able to watch this worthless piece of film any longer. Ha 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 ha. Wow, I've never been to a school this big. I know, it's your first time honey. I guess this doesn't look bad than I expected. I'm looking forward into welcoming you to our community Hannah. I look forward into being welcomed to Principal Ramirez. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hey, I think that's the same girl who moved in next door of our new house. I wonder if I could ask her out someday. But I don't even know her. Gabriel Cortez? That's me. Come on in, I'm now ready for you. I want to wait where the Petrus is. Are you are the Petrus? Yes, I'm sure you've already started. started. Alright, welcome. My name is Carolina Ramirez, and I am the. Hey! What the heck happened to the movie? It just stopped. Oh come on. Turn yeah. the movie back on right now. Good money to see this Turn movie. Right this is so stupid. I want my money back. Okay. I've got the film. Let's destroy this thing. Ha 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 ha. Take that, Gabe, Joe Juan, and Andrew. Now I don't have to watch your crappy movie anymore. Man, I am off to a great start already. Hey! You! What on earth do you think you're doing? You are not allowed to be in here. Get out. Right now. Oh just shut the hell up. You are not the boss of me. I need to get out of here right now. I'm so busted. Ouch. My nose. That was so uncalled for. That's it. I'm calling security. I need security to catch an intruder immediately. He came into the projection room and destroyed a film projection and then ran off. He has black hair, tan skin, glasses, headphones, a red shirt, and some black shorts. So, not only did your son sneak into a prohibited area inside of the building, but he also destroyed the copy of the film you all were watching, and he assaulted a staff member by punching him. I would just like to say that this type of behavior is not allowed here at Bayan Cinema. Your son is very lucky that we have backup copies of all of our films, and if he destroyed the only copy we had, then your son would have gotten in more trouble. He should also be glad he isn't being pressed for charges as well. In addition, if Tristan ever decides to do something like that again, he will be permanently banned from the Bayan Cinema. Do I make myself clear? Yes madam. We are so sorry about our son's behavior. We will make sure he doesn't do something like this again. If we need to pay for any of the damages our son has caused, we will gladly do so. I appreciate it, but that won't be necessary. We hope something like this doesn't happen again. You folks have a good rest of your day. Tristan Sean Davidson. Have you lost your mind? We cannot believe you would sneak into a place you are not allowed to be in and destroy a piece of property inside of there just because you didn't like the movie. And you also punched a guy in the face just because you were caught. And plus, you also lied to me about going to the bathroom as well. Why, Tristan? Why, why, why? You ruined the entire movie for all of us. Don't do anything like this ever again. Do you hear me? Okay, okay, Dad. I won't do that again. My God. You don't have to yell at me about it. You know what? I have an idea. How about we all get our minds off of this mess by going to the park for a little while? How does that sound? Hey, that does sound like a good idea. Yay. Let's do that. Well, alright then. Let's all go. It might help me simmer down a bit. And Tristan. I swear to God, if you cause any more trouble, you will get a belt beating. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. Good. Now let's go. Cause, cause no, no more, more trouble, trouble, you say? say? Well, well, too, too bad, bad, Mom. Because, because that, that was, was just, just the first part, part of my big plan. plan. Ha 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 ha. Tristan. 
All right. I'm coming. Excellent. Now it's time. Oh no. What is Tristan doing here? You know what? I really don't care to be honest. He'll get his punishment anyways. So guys, you wanna play on the monkey bars? We can play a game to see who hangs on the longest. Yes. yes. Awesome. Let's do it then. Oh, hey guys. Want you guys up to right now? Oh, me and my friends were just about to play on the monkey bars. Wow, that's nice to know. And to be honest, me and my sister Taylor used to play on the swing sets and monkey bars when we were little kids. My parents would always take us out to the park to have our free time at the playground. Oh really? That sounds like fun right there. My sister Ruth did the same thing too when she was around my age. Same with my sisters. Same with my twin brothers Jamar and Jamal. Same with my brother and sisters. And same here with my annoying brother Kenward, who is a troublemaker. Wow. I bet all of your siblings are much older now. They sure are. They're around 17 to 20 years old. For example, my brother Kenward just turned 19 a few weeks ago. Wow. Did he have a happy birthday? Obviously not because of the trouble he's been causing to me and the others around him lately. He has been causing trouble for a long time, even before me and my friends were born. Dang. That must have been heartbreaking for Kenward. I know. My parents told him that if he wants to have a happy birthday next year, he'll have to improve his behavior and not do any more of his stupid bad stuff like he did throughout the years. Indeed. Hopefully he'll get his act together before he deserves a happy birthday. But anyways, I have a surprise that I need to plan out for all of you. Sure thing. What's your surprise plan? Let me think about that for a second. All, all right. right. I'm, I'm about, about to pull off my second knot indeed, indeed, and that, that is, is being a bully, bully to them and pushing them, them around, including, including beating them up. up. This, this will be, be so hilarious when those retarded, retarded kids, kids go to their, their parents, parents crying, crying like babies. Ha 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 Okay guys. Keep your eyes closed and look the other way. And don't open your eyes and look back until I tell you. Alright. Our eyes are closed and we are looking the other way. Great. Now keep doing this, and get ready for your special surprise coming your way. Ouch. Sir, what are you doing? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Why did you do this to the five of us for? Because you kids don't deserve to play in this stupid hellhole playground. And so, this was your special surprise, and that is getting severely pushed and beaten up by me, Tristan Sean Davidson. Ha 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 ha. We are so telling our mommies, daddies, and our siblings on you. I hope you get in severe trouble by your family for doing this to us. Go ahead, tell all of your parents on me. And I don't care if I get in trouble or not. You kids don't deserve to be here anyways. You ha 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 ha. Oh man. That was so worth it. They all cried like little babies. My second naughty deed is off the list. Now hopefully, I won't get caught by my... Tristan Sean Davidson. Oh my god. Tristan Sean Davidson. Are you kidding me right now? How dare you have the freaking audacity to beat up these five innocent little children. They did absolutely nothing to you, and you decided to be a bully to them. We did not raise you to be this way at all. First you assaulted Jill and Zoe with Lamar's dad's boxing gloves, and now this. What in God's name is wrong with you? You know what? You have really crossed the line this time. We are taking you back to your aunt and uncle, and we will tell them what you did. This behavior of yours is seriously getting out of hand. And this is your second offense. One more strike, and you will get punished. We will not let you ruin our day like this. 
Now get over here and follow me to your aunt and uncle. Now. Alright, alright. Guys, I am very sorry about what our son has done. I didn't expect him to hurt your children like that at all. Unfortunately this isn't the first time our son has done something like this. The first one was when he assaulted Jolan's OI with his friend's dad's boxing gloves. Tristan has been acting worse than he usually does today for some reason. Oh, that's quite a right man. We understand how difficult it is to deal with a troublemaking kid. We have one of our own, named Kenward. I'm just glad our daughter is okay. Same here. I really hope your son gets punished for what he did. Oh don't worry. We will punish him later on. Well that's good to hear. D. Marcus, are you and your friends feeling any better? Not really. That bully beat us up really hard. I just don't know why he did that to us. I mean, we did nothing wrong to make him beat us senseless. I agree with Demarcus. We just wanted to have fun in the playground, not get beaten senseless by someone bigger and stronger than us. I agree with Max. Me too. And so do I. You guys will be alright. He won't do that to you five anymore. We need to cheer you guys up, but how? Hey guys, how about we cheer you guys up by taking you all to Ice Bats Ice Cream Parlor and getting all of you ice cream as a treat. How does that sound? You know what sis? That does sound like a good idea. What do you guys say? Ice cream for all of us. Yes, that sounds awesome. Same with me. Ice cream is my favorite treat. Agreed. Agreed. Same here. We are in the mood for ice cream anyways. Yeah. I agree with you Cindy. Well. What are we all waiting for? Let's all head over there right now. It was nice meeting you, Mrs. Shirley. Take care now. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Now to go tell my sister, Darren, and the rest what happened. All right. Dinner is finally ready. I will call everyone over now. Okay guys, dinner is ready. Okay, coming surely. Alright guys, let's all head into the dining room for dinner. So, are you guys ready to eat dinner? We sure are. This will be the best dinner ever. Don't you agree Dave? I agree with you bro. All of the food looks really good. I agree with Uncle Dave. Me too. And me three. Great. Okay then let's go ahead and... Wait, what about Tristan? We can't have a family dinner without him. Oh, shoot. You're right honey. I guess Tristan didn't hear us. Thanks for pointing that out sweetie. I'll go call him down here for dinner right away. Man, this sucks. I've been caught for the second time now. I'm already getting sick and tired of my family doing this to me. And I already know that I will be severely punished by my annoying parents if I get my third and final strike. Oh well, at least I get to spend some time playing more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe without anyone interrupting my personal time. Tristan, come downstairs please. We are about to have a family dinner night. Okay mom, I'll be down shortly. Alright, All right. this, this is, is my, my chance. chance. My, my third, third and final DD will, will be put, put into, into action. action. <laughs> Okay everyone. Before we start eating, I would like for all of us to say a prayer before we eat dinner. May I have everyone close their eyes and put their hands together? Thank you. Okay, if everyone's ready, I will begin. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today for our feast. We thank you for keeping all of us around the table safe and okay. Okay. not in harm's way. After, After our, our prayers, prayers over, continue I will to do my plan. For the poor, who may this not is going to be so to receive goods like we Let's do, do this. Lord. May this food bless our bodies, our spirit, and our strength for the next day ahead. In Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. Ow, 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 
Somebody call an ambulance. Oh my god. Jane, don't worry baby. I will call an ambulance immediately. Please hurry mom. It hurts so bad. Oh. My. God. Jane. We are coming. So, unfortunately, it looks like Jane suffered a broken right foot. A cast will have to be put on her when she arrives at the hospital, and it will have to stay on her for at least two months before she completely heals. We're so sorry this happened to you guys. May I ask how Jane's foot got broken in the first place? Our son decided to flip our dining room table after our prayer was over, and one of the edges landed on my niece's foot. My goodness. That's absolutely awful. I feel so bad for all of you guys. But don't worry, Jane will be in good hands with us during her visit at the hospital. Would any of you guys like to ride with us during the ride to the hospital? Me and my wife will go with her. Same with our other grandchildren. Our sons, our daughter and daughter-in-law will stay here. Okay. You guys can get into the ambulance truck. You guys take care. You may visit Jane whenever you guys need to. I've got to get going. Thank you so much, doctor. Please take care of our daughter well. We love you, Jane. Feel better. Now, we have some business that we all need to attend to. Let's go punish that horrible little boy. Right. Ha 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 ha. That was so hilarious on what I did. And I'm glad that Jane got what she deserved, because she is an annoying cousin that I had to deal with in the first place. And with that, my third and final naughty deed is now off the list which means that my mission has been accomplished. Now since I ruined my relative's fun today, I just hope that nobody will find out about this. Tristan, Sean, Davidson. Get your ass down these stairs right now. You're in serious trouble now young man. Oh crap. Looks like my parents have found out that I did all of this. I should have never done any of this mess in the first place. Oh geez, I'm gonna get so busted. Uh-oh. Um, Mom, Dad, Dela, and Kathy and Uncle Darren, why do you all look so angry in front of me? Tristan. Words cannot even begin to describe on just how enraged we are all at you right now. We cannot believe how badly you have misbehaved today. You snuck into the projection room in the Beyond Cinema when you weren't supposed to and destroyed a copy of the film we were watching. You beat up five innocent little kids at the park for no reason, and then you ruined our dinner and flipped over the entire table, caused a huge mess in our dining room, and injured your poor cousin in the process. Why the hell would you do all of these things for? What is wrong with you? That's bullshit. The reasons you did all of those horrible things was because you are a massive spoiled brat. You deliberately ruined our whole day just because you didn't want to hang out with all of us as a family. This is easily the worst troublemaking I have seen from my own son. Your father is right, young man. This is not how you act around your parents, your aunt, me, your cousins, your grandparents, or anyone at all. You are so damn lucky that you didn't get arrested for the things you did today. You should really be ashamed of yourself. And also, since you like causing destruction and harm to others, not only will you be forced to write apology letters to the children and your family members, but you will also write one to Jane and help us pay for the expenses of the hospital bill. No questions asked. This type of heinous behavior will not fly with us or anyone out in the real world. You are turning 17 years old in 4 months, and yet you act like a goddamn psychopath. Keep this behavior up, and we will all send you to a mental hospital. I agree with what Mom, Dad, and Kathy and Uncle Darn have said. You are such a disgrace. That's it Tristan. You have seriously done messed up this time. You are grounded for 10 months. Your electronics will be taken away again, and as a punishment, you will have to be forced to stay with your aunt and uncle for the rest of the month. And we swear, if you cause even the smallest bit of trouble over there, you're so going to get it. 
and also, the only meals that you will be eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert are raw vegetables and lumpy potatoes for the next 10 months as well. We have absolutely had enough with all of your troublemaking antics. Now, I do believe I said you were getting a belt beating if you broke your third strike, so your punishment is exactly that. Get your ass on the floor right now. Wow 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 wow. Please stop, I'm so sorry, I beg you. Wah 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 Take that Tristan. This is what you get for causing destruction and being disrespectful towards your relatives and other people today. There. That's what you get for all the crap you've done today. Now, go to the dining room and clean the mess you've caused, and then after that, pack up your clothes and your belongings and wait inside of your room until your aunt and uncle are ready to leave. We are sick and tired of you causing trouble every single day behind our backs Tristan. Go, now. Kathy and Darren, I'm so sorry about everything. I really don't know how much we can deal with Tristan longer. He's turning into a dangerous maniac and I'm really scared what will happen to him if he keeps this up. This is too much for us to handle. Oh sis, it's going to be alright. It's been a rough day for all of us. We will make sure to do whatever it takes to keep Tristan under control. You guys won't have to deal with him for the rest of the month, as he will be staying with us. And if he decides to cause trouble towards us, we'll punish him the right way. I agree with Kathy. We'll also make sure he doesn't try to harm Jane either. Say, how about we all give Jane a visit at the hospital? Darren and I will treat all of us with food for us to eat while we're there as well. You know, that's a good idea sis. She will be very happy to see all of us over there. And we can also give her a gift to surprise her while we're there. That sounds great. Let's all go give her a visit right now. Yay. That is such a relief. But first, we need to watch over our unruly nephew first. Let's all go do that right now. Man, this sucks so much. Now I won't be able to walk normally or play basketball for a while, and it's all Tristan's fault. I really hope my foot heals quickly. It's gonna be alright honey. I know it sucks that this happened. Everything is gonna be alright though. The doctors and nurses here will treat you well. Your grandma is right. Your foot will heal up quickly in no time. Thanks grandma and grandpa. You may come in. Hi guys. How is Jane holding up? The doctors said her foot won't heal all the way up until May. She has to stay inside of the hospital until her foot is healed enough for her to be in a cast and in crutches, then she'll be out of the hospital by then. Oh dear. Oh, my poor baby. I'm so sorry this happened to you. You didn't deserve this at all. But we are all glad you are doing okay. Thank you mom. But it's gonna be hard not being able to do any of the things I like doing for a while. Don't feel bad, sweetie. It wasn't your fault. It was definitely Tristan's fault that he did this to you. We all brought some food from Wages Diner for all of us to eat, because we all know we're hungry, and to help cheer you up. That's awesome. Yeah, I agree with LeBron. That place has amazing food. Wow. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Aunt Shirley and Uncle Dave for buying all of us dinner. Now we don't have to worry about eating food for the rest of the night. Of course, dear. We would do anything for our niece. And we also bought you a gift as well. Here, this one is from all of us. Holy crap. You guys brought me a brand new iPhone 13? Yep. We sure did. We brought it for you because you have been such an amazing daughter of ours. You have graduated from high school, you are doing really well in college and at your job, and you have always been a great helper to us around the house, so you most definitely deserve an upgrade. Wow. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Taylor, Aunt Shirley, Uncle Dave, Grandma, Grandpa, 
LeBron and Tyree. That's so awesome. You're welcome, honey. We all love you very much. We're so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. All right, everyone. Let's all start eating dinner. I bet all of us are starving. Good idea. I would like to give a massive special thanks to Cora Comedian 1993 for once again helping me out on the script for this video. His work really helped me out and I appreciate him for that, so special shout out goes to him. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this special episode.